ready. I think everything looks all right. Let me check something here. What's up, guys? Flooding on oh, team. Uh, yeah. Uh, today we're gonna be playing some Duelist Cup. Uh, Master Duel. Uh, let me just. I, I guess let me show you a quick glance of my deck here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be playing some Grand Maju, so it should be fun. Um, oh, maybe I'll need to reboot uh, Master Duel here. Uh, it's kind of kind of lagging out a little bit, but uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys are doing all right. Um. Yeah, there are quite a few rewards in the Duelist Cup to get. Um, so we're just going to be trying to uh, see what all we can get here today. So, uh, But yeah, here's a look at the deck we're going to be playing today. <laughs> a lot, lot of like uh, cash and stuff in the Duelist Cup. So um, see if I can pull it up here for you guys. All right. Oh yeah, and if you uh, <laughs> you hear anything in the background, it's probably a Duelist of the Roses. Yeah, I actually have a little bit of that going because uh, I figure some of the like you know people people like to BM and stuff, so I just like, hey, why not? You know, why not throw that in the background? Probably a good idea. So, and um, yeah, so all right, man, Oof. I don't know. Wow, <laughs> we might be. Uh, Wow, this is taking quite a while to beat this up. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, anyway, yeah, here's a look at the deck. We got a, you know, a couple of dimensional prison, some uh, macrocosmos, a lot of kaiju's to combo with, uh, <laughs> remove brainwashing, <laughs> and um, yeah, just a couple grand modules in there, and of course the necro face. That's standard fare. But the big kicker is the one of in this deck right here, Inferno Tempest. Yeah, <laughs> so basically you just try to. Like, one of the main strategies I try to do is kaiju my opponent, throw something weak like Ash into it, and then, you know, Inferno Tempest. So, uh, this deck is, uh, I, I think I prefer to go first, you know, just to set up, like, macro and stuff. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it does, so. Alright, let's see if we can get a duel going. Um, or two. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, I guess it just hit one o'clock or something, but, um. Well, okay, well, <laughs> we got a 1-2 uh, serve raw pack, so sure, why not? Let's just start stream by going there and uh, opening that up. Um, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's, that's a good way to start stream, I guess. See, let's go over here. Huh, I guess they're doing some kind of promo for the uh, uh, 25th anniversary or whatever, so. Ooh. I think they have a new alt art raw in here now, too, so. Uh, let's just see what we get out of here. Uh, wow, orchestrated Babel. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Metal Fuck Slime. Interesting. Zolga. <laughs> Two Zolgas. What we got here? Uh, Goaty card. Uh, Paces. Oh, okay. <laughs> Light of the Goaty. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I guess that does... Uh, does it open a Goaty pack? No, I guess there's not a Goaty Seeker pack. But yeah, there's a look at the alt art raw right there. So uh, anyway, cool. We'll take that, I guess. Um, I guess we just got some more dailies too, huh? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Okay, cool. So, quite a lot of dailies I've got today. So, uh, yeah. I think that's the main goal of the stream. You know, I, I don't plan to, like... Well, let me just show you guys. Let me just show you guys. But, yeah, like, uh, 16 duels still for this. For all of this. Um, Yeah, yeah. Activate 100 spells and trash. That's crazy. Yeah, normal special summon. I don't think I'll be going for these. Um... Uh, this is, you know, manageable. Six more wins, that's manageable. If anything, I'll, like, in 50 duels, that's a lot. That's a lot altogether. I guess it is a combined, what, 120 gems? But I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'll honestly... I think the main thing we'll go for is this. The six wins, and I think we'll be done, honestly. So, uh, but yeah. Let me get into a duel here real quick, or try to, anyway. And then I'll... uh. I'll do what I usually do, tweet out that I'm live and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's try. Try to get into a duel here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I do remember having this uh, issue sometimes, but 
Uh, usually it kind of fixes its stuff if I just like go back to title and come back in. So, all right, try that. Okay. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's go back in. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get it going this time. Hopefully so, you know. Uh, uh, not, uh, I guess we'll stream something else. I haven't really you know, planned on doing anything else today, but... Uh, I can think of something, you know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Right. It's so weird, too, because, um... Yeah, just just for like a reference, I guess, or whatever. Like, yeah, I was I was playing this, you know, right before stream because, you know, of course, you know, that's just it just is like common sense, you know. And I had test master duel out, you know, I hadn't streamed this in a while, and I was like, yeah, let me just you know test this right before stream. And um, yeah, the duels were going through fine, everything looked fine. So uh, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I guess we'll try to go first here. Um, okay, we are going first. Sweet. All right. Let's see if it goes through here this time. Uh, hopefully so. And then we'll get into some... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's taking a while, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know about this one. We'll, we'll see. We'll try. Miyugi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. M Yugi, M Warrior number one. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, there we go. All right, we're into the duel. We we have made it. We've made it through one. Uh, I guess I should start with the Max C here, huh? Uh, sure. Go ahead, Max C. See if they got the called by. Uh oh, they got cross out. And, you know, just as good, just as good. So, all right. All right, so no Max C for us. I guess let's see what they're playing here. 40 card deck. We're, of course, going with uh, 60. Got to counter grass, you know. Uh, Might be Sword Soul? I don't know. Could be anything, really, though. Uh, let's see. Monk of the Tinny, it is indeed Sorcel. Okay. Or it could be pure Tinnies, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, and there's a Vishuda. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And there's a Taia. Is that how you say that? I think so. Taia. Oh, that's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> well, with that, they can definitely get, uh, what you call it, uh, is it called Chiaksho? The level 8 one. Yeah, because they've got a worm in the graveyard, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because they, uh, they already got a Shuna, a Shuna in there, so. All right. <laughs> so they're going to use Ashuna to get out at Hara. Okay. Probably go into the link to. I, I guess this is Tinny's then. They'll, they'll probably go into the link to. Uh, and that way they get this in the graveyard at Hara. Oh, it's a tuner. Oh, they're going for a synchro summon. Okay. So this should be Chiak Shell. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, and there's the long, long yong, long one. Mm-hmm. Getting back a shuna. All right. Yeah, and there's that. So they'll probably have a baron. Get the border on the floor. Easily done. Oh, no, they went for a uh, long one. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, chi, chi Sing? Long Wong. Long Yuan. Okay. Not too bad. <laughs> and there's Draco. Now, this is a monster negate, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, activates a monster effect. Yeah, you can banish it. Okay. Not bad. And I don't think we want to play Dimensional Prism, because I think that turns on their deck here. Uh, no. Okay. No, no, it isn't. Okay. All right. Well, honestly, I don't know if we can win this one, but, well, I, I guess that's helpful. Um... Yeah, Maxi would have got us quite a few cards there, huh? Um, let's just go for... Yeah, I don't think we'll win this one, but, you know, <laughs> might as well go for some rewards, I guess. So, we'll just MST that. Um... Yeah, it was Imperm, wow. <laughs> I guess we'll try to Kaiju this, and then... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, negate its effects to the end of the turn. Yeah, not much I can do here. And besides, they have Draco Berserker too. So, um, yeah, you can banish it. Well, wow. okay, well, <laughs> GG, I guess. But uh, yeah, you do get credit for doing stuff anyway. So, might as well. So I will do this to uh, this card. There we go. I do that monster. Special summon this. Over here. Yeah, normally I'd take Theosis and stuff, but uh, yeah, Berserker's going to stop that. And really, they kind of had a double lock, because no matter what I did there... Uh, yeah, you can banish one of those monsters, your opponent special summons. So, really, no matter what I did there, um, I, I really couldn't go full combo, so... Uh, no, no, I actually will pass on the effect. Believe it or not. So, there we go. And we'll throw one down. All right, over to them. And then from here, I can just kind of hit off and <laughs> play some Duels of the Roses, I guess. I guess we'll see if they BM. Oh, maybe they'll show us some cool, cool combos. I don't, maybe they'll show us some unique Sword Soul combos never before. So. <laughs> Honor. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I guess while they're finishing this set, uh, I might as well go over here and tweet out that I'm streaming here. So, probably a good idea, good call, so. Alright.
Wait, what? Uh, I don't know why they let get a turn, but uh, oh, I guess he didn't have enough to finish us off, honey. Okay, well, um, sure, let's dust whatever that is, I guess. <laughs> Might as well. I, I thought the duel would have been over, guys, honestly. I, I was just kind of, <laughs> you know, tweeting, tweeting stuff out, and I was like, yep, yeah, yeah, this one's over, so I wasn't paying it any mind. Uh, another imperm. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess let's set this. And, uh, yeah. I guess to start the turn, I'll, uh, well, I guess it's kind of good. I got to show you guys one combo of this deck here. That's to start the turn. Yeah, I'll actually, um, <laughs> I'll play remove brainwashing and take back my, uh, oops. Ooh, I, sh I meant to that in some by phase, but oh, good. They're going to go straight to battle. Perfect. Okay. So they went straight to battle. So we play remove brainwashing here. <laughs> and that actually takes, takes back, uh, Jizukiru for us. So nice. <laughs> nice battle phase, bruh. <laughs> So there we go. That's one of the combos, you know, remove brainwashing. Yeah, <laughs> you can take back your own kaiju monsters. It's it's incredibly funny. So. Yep. I imagine they'll play like Raigeki or something, but, you know, whatever. All right. Besides, I think they have a they have a Vishuda, right? Yeah, so, I mean, I guess it's lucky this isn't a quick effect, but I'm pretty sure they can bounce us no matter what, honestly, so. Oh, okay, they're just going to end the turn there, okay. Well, there's Grin Maju, okay. Oh. Um, I doubt we can hold out long enough for it to put up some big stats, but uh, we will try. So, we'll just attack into this, Draco Berserker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too with Berserker. Yeah, it only gains attack if it destroys something. So there's that. So I guess we can use monster effects now. And we'll call it good. Hmm. Okay. I didn't honestly I didn't think this duel would go on this long <laughs> after we after we just kinda gave him the kaiju and stuff and I went with Unicorn. I was just like, oh well, this one's over, but uh Yeah, it might be soon though. Really, all they need to do is get, like, Barone out here or something. Uh, like another, um, yeah, another one of these, another um, strategist, and they're good, you know, so. Okay, oh, they're going to grab Fallen of Albass, huh? Yeah, that should do it. That should do it, honestly. That should be the end of the duel. Okay, they're going to get Moye, all right. Yep, reveal Moye for Moye. So they'll be able to draw some cards with this too, so. Okay. So oh, how they clear us? Oh, I think uh, box to you, yeah. Uh, yep, target cards. Yep, easily done. And they're they're just kind of BMing right now. <laughs> oh, I guess they bounced uh, Dimfiz too, with uh, the shooter or whatever. But <laughs> all right, yep, definitely glad I started Duelist of the Roses over here for uh, situations like this. And honestly, like that's the thing too is I I don't really blame people for BMing because um. You basically get gems for BMing in this cup, so that's that's one of the reasons. Like, I, I think I prefer like the festivals, you know, like the ritual festival or like, you know, an exceeds festival or something. Because, um, you know, that way there it it seems like there's like less 
less of this, you know, so to speak. So, uh, but it is what it is, you know. It's it's part of the game, you know, like it or hate it, you know, BMing is definitely part of the game. Unfortunately, I think it's part of the game, you know, for good. So. And there's Barone. Okay, <laughs> so we did see it. All right. <laughs> he negated his own <laughs> his own strategies just to just to get into three k. <laughs> That's funny. All right, great game, M. Yugi. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Well, at least we got some more spells and traps in there on that one. And I got to show you guys the combo, so that's that's cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got uh, some dailies or something from this. Uh, we got two dailies. Nice. Spell card and destroy a card. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. All right. On to the next duel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You can encounter some some weird matchups I found though <laughs> in playing the Duel's Cup. I mean, you can go from people playing like full powered uh Dragon Link to uh you know Dark Magician starter deck. <laughs> like no lie. <laughs> I guess that's the good thing about the Duel's Cup. Is like, yeah, you can feel still find some people playing like uh, you know, Black Wing starter deck or Dark Magician. Well, but the Black Wing starter deck, it ain't bad. It ain't bad, honestly. But yeah, you can find people playing like Ninja Starter Deck and then find people playing, uh, you know, full powered, uh, you know, branded or whatever. <laughs> so all kind of, yeah, yeah, they're playing 60 cards too. Well, wow. all kind of zaniness, you know, in the Duelist Cup here. So all kinds. Um, This hand is bad for us, honestly. Um, I'll just go ahead and play what we can play, though. So play that. Play Rise Heart. Uh, with Rise Heart, let's banish. Um, I don't think I can get anything with Big Bang. Nope, I cannot. Yeah, we really want this in the deck, to be honest. But I guess I'll just banish out uh, Ogre. And okay, that way we get the life point gain here. Mm-hmm. All right, and I'll set this, and I guess we'll see what they're playing, guys. All right, over to you, C4 Fresh. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> right. I wonder if these are new um new mates, by the way. I don't think I've ever seen the football and the helmet. I don't ever think I've seen that. I've seen like a basketball, but uh this I don't remember. <laughs> it it may have already been around for a while though, who knows? I don't know. Well, oh, okay. Well, hey, we, I guess we'll take that. I mean, yeah, uh, that uh, that works for us. Um, I guess they didn't get um, anything to start their combo, or I don't know. Maybe they were just being really nice and just uh, scooped for us there. But hey, that's that's a win. We'll take that. Thank you. All right. So there's that. Um, yep. Let's just go to the next one.
All right, we're up against uh, Nim Nimar. <laughs> Nimmer. Second, all right. Let's hope we draw like a couple kaijus. Mm, no, but we did get this. Uh, yeah, this combos with like soul absorption, which I just played in the last duel. You know, banish eight. Well, and of course, like you want like a lot of cards banished for Grand Maju anyway. So that's what that's for. So, hmm. If this is tier, I will. Uh, I don't know if it's full tier or like cash because uh, cash tier I can play this card. But yeah, if this is tier, I will just you know. Kind of a, a scoop here to save you guys some time. <laughs> this tier, tier combos can go for a while, man. Oh, well, they milled our deck. So I guess it's not, because why would they do that? Tier, tier decks want to mill their own deck, you know. So, Oh, I guess we did get a good hit. They gave us, uh, they gave us another Orochi, so we'll take that, I guess. Oton, Lord. Ah, oh, Jumper. Okay, I guess that's... That's an option, yeah. That's that's definitely a card. Um, this card's not a tuner, so I thought they might go for Psychic and Punisher, but no. Hmm. Okay. Or Al Mirage, okay. Uh, I wonder where this could be going. Hmm. I guess this does have a graveyard effect, right? Mm. From your hand. Oh, so this is like a battle fader. I'm surprised they didn't keep that in hand, honestly. Um, Not be targeted by card effects next turn. Hmm, okay. That's, uh, that's an option, I guess, yeah. And go for it. Hmm. That's interesting. Huh. Well, I guess that's that's it for their turn, I guess. Wow. That's uh yeah. Okay. End of main phase, we'll wait for the end phase on uh Orochi. So this is the one in the graveyard, right? Yeah, let's just use this. Okay, banish eight, and we'll go here. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, wow, pot of desires. I guess we could just go for broke here. If we really want to. Um, the. Okay, let's um. We're going to face up monster. Okay. Uh, let's just... Uh, let's go blind here. Try to MST the first one they said here. See what happens. Uh, Rhoda. They set Rhoda. Wow. I don't know why they... Yeah, because they could have grabbed a Rise Heart with that. Huh. Don't know why why they do that, but okay. I guess we'll see if we find Grinmaju here. Pot of Desires? Try to draw two? We do. Okay, okay. Well, one thing we could do here is, um, wow, and getting Ash is kind of good, honestly, because they're down to one card. So this can't be targeted due to all Mirage. But one thing we could do is uh, Kaiju it, and then, but there's really no need to do that because we can still destroy it by battle. So, and no matter what, you know, they've only got one face down. So I think we're good. Um, because even if they somehow destroy us, um, we can just play the other Orochi, or this one, actually. <laughs> Still from the graveyard. So, let's go for Necroface, and um, yeah, we'll just go from there. So It might have like an Imperm or something, I guess, but, you know. Or they're like reading Necroface. I don't know what they're doing here. <laughs> Mm, yeah, because I don't think this is on me. 
Oh, it's torrent. Oh, torrential tribute. Wow. I never would have saw that coming. Not in a million years, man. Not in a million years. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so there's torrential. I guess the effect of Necroface still resolves, yeah. So there's that. Okay. <laughs> hey, Iga, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. How are you doing? Wow, Drowning and Planet Pathfinder. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess I'll use the effect of uh, Orochi here in the graveyard, and we'll just bring it right back, yeah. Why not? Ate all the turkey ones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry I haven't really been around, Iga, but uh, yeah, I'm doing all right. You know, I'm back now, so. Uh, yeah, hopefully you're doing pretty good, too. Good to see you. Uh, we'll set Roar and uh, call it good. All right. They got nothing. No cards on the field or in the hand. I guess I can use this uh, if they've got a target. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, did I win? Um, so far we've had one person like scoop, but, um, yeah, I think they just had like some connection issues or something. Um, but so, so far I don't, yeah, we're not all the way done with Duelist Cup. We're only like level 11 or whatever, but yeah, we're gonna just try to keep pushing through. Foolish Burial, that's interesting. I think I, I will ash that, you know, <laughs> I don't know what they could possibly have in there, but. You know, we saw, one, like, one tier card, so I don't want to, like, turn on their whole deck, so to speak, so. No, you cannot, Foolish Burial, sir. Sorry, Karibo. All right. Oh, okay, there we go. Ice cream time, scooping time. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. So that should um, get us a level up, right? I think that was that duel was for a level up. Yeah, that was weird. I I, I think basically they bricked there because um, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, that gets us to level twelve hundred gems. We'll take that. All right. There we go. And. Another daily or something here. Oh, okay, yeah, we got to the 16 wins. All right. Well, there we go. All right. And um, I guess we're just on to the next duel. Let's do Okay, this hand is, well, I guess if we're up against the Labyrinth, it looks good. Zubaba Bobo. <laughs> I, I like that name. That That's, uh, I don't know. It just made me think of a, a Zubaba Bancho Gaga -ga coat for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, oh, Runic. Hmm. Runic plus Branded. Well, hmm, I don't know. Okay, I guess we do have the Feather Duster. Uh, and we have some Kaiju cards, too. Hmm, should I really just try to hang in there with this one? I don't know, man. Hmm, and they got the Fountain. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know on this one. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I, I, I might scoop out of this one, to be quite frank. <laughs> that is that is just diabolical. 
yeah, runic and branded cards? Hmm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Might not be game for this one. Blue belly on back. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, so they kept Fountain in hand. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm, well, there's Unicorn. Okay. All right. Well, let's just see what we can do here. Um, Unicorn go. Hmm. Hmm. I'd really prefer they not do that, but this will protect stuff by card effect, doesn't it? Yeah. I definitely want to save my removal for a uh, fountain. So, well, not much we can do about that, to be quite frank. Uh, I guess the good part is they, they have to skip their battle phase next turn, so uh, we're not going to be losing any time soon, so to speak. But uh, uh, what should we get rid of? Wow, we could get rid of uh, Hugin here, actually. Which, that might be the call here. I don't know. Hmm. Then again, Barone. Barone, Barone. What is this? Oh, wow, I've never seen this card before, ever. A level four tuner. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Well, I think we'll just hit, uh, yeah, let's hit Barone. Yeah. Card seems pretty good. <laughs> Okay, so there goes Baroon, and then, hmm, okay, so we'll grab, um, well, we'll try to grab Birth. Okay, looks like they're going to let us, so there we go, Ashtera Birth, um, let's see here, okay, there's Theosis we got, um, yeah, let's grab that. With the Osis on this. Max C. Oh, it's a little light on that, huh? I guess I did just. All I did was bring out Unicorn, so. Alright, alright. That's fine. We'll bring out Fenrir here. Mm uh hmm. -huh. And I'm not going to give him too many more cards, so. All I'll do with this is take uh, Unicorn back. So there's that. Um, I might give him one more card, uh, by going into birth here. Okay. Birth. And then, yeah, let's just battle here. Okay. So, unicorn. I guess we go into Hugin here. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and there goes that. And then, yep, main two. Let's bring out Shangri Era, I suppose. There we go. And yes, just put it right here. All right, another card for them, Max C, and we'll call it good. Okay. All right, so we'll go for Era. I guess let's just grab um, uh, nothing due to Ash. <laughs> All right, not a problem. But yeah, I don't think we have to worry about uh, losing this turn because yeah, they activated uh, they activated Tip right to start. Yeah, so that's uh, hmm, yeah, which means they have to skip this battle phase, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, but they can set up a nice board. They got a lot of cards in hand, stuff so.
uh, use the effects. Oh, I guess to just uh, survive? Yeah, that's fine. So let's just attach um, a unicorn, I guess. I don't think it really matters which, which one we'd attach there. Okay, and there's a Baldrick, so looks like they got the full bestial engine there. Uh, we can use Birth, but I don't think I want to use it now. I prefer to use it to get some of these bestials out and some of the branded support stuff out. So that's what I would prefer, but uh, we'll see. There's Lou Belly on again. Okay. Yeah, and I'd prefer to get this out, actually, out of the graveyard if we can. If we can with birth, we can. If we can't, we can't, you know, so. And there's enough for a level 10 synchro, so let's see what they do here. Or if they use the effect. It is indeed a synchro Shokan. House Angel, yeah, that's a pretty good card. Yep, so there goes Ida Ida. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, now they play the fountain. Okay. Yep, and yeah, like I said, yeah, the battle phase was skipped there, so. So I was like, yeah, not much to worry about, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, I think we'll start. And they have no protection for Fountain now. Hmm. Or any of these cards. So, well, I guess they could quick play, like uh, play a Runic card, but let's just go with Duster right here. See what they do. Oh, they are going to quick play a, a runic card. Okay. So, what we'll do here is we will... Uh, we'll chain MST, actually. Because they could get out uh, Hugin. And I think I want to pop... Um, do I want to pop Fountain? Yeah, probably, yeah. That's probably the, the call there. I'm pretty sure they're going to take out Hugin. So, that way we'll take out Fountain no matter what. Okay, there goes Fountain. What would they grab here? And yeah, they have to skip another battle phase, so... Alright. And yep, there's Hugin. Okay. Yeah, and they are going to use Hugin's effect. Okay. okay. Thought so. Thought so. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, so this is used to the Cycle Hugin. That's actually pretty smart, yeah. Um, from here... Let's see. What to do from here? I think we will use Birth. A call out... Oh, another Maxi. Wow. Well, hmm. And once again, I don't want to give him too many cards, honestly, so... We'll call out Fenrir, I guess. Hmm. And... Hmm. Huh. Interesting they went with that in defense mode. I guess I should have played Birth right there, honestly. It's my bad. Yeah, because I could have gotten rid of uh, Cartesia right there. But, uh... Hmm. Let's use Fenrir. Let's grab uh, Ogre here. Well, if they'll let us anyway. Okay, so we'll grab... Actually, I'll grab the other Fenrir. And I, I think what I'll do here is I'll banish... I'll actually banish either Regained or Beast. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, because I really don't want Birth destroyed, actually. So, yeah, let's just battle here. Battle. And let's uh, get rid of... Let's get rid of uh, this, actually. Activate Fenrir, yep. 
Uh, I guess I could banish Chaos Angel too. Cannot be destroyed or unaffected by monster effects. Okay. So let's yeah, let's just get rid of this. That way we can try to keep birth around. And Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm kinda glad they put that in defense mode, honestly. Because, <laughs> you know, at least, you know, giving us a target for Fenrir actually helps us there, so. And, yeah, we won't give him any more cards with Max C. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just end the turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a weird duel. What a weird duel. Of course, you know, with most Runic um, duels, the goal is to banish your opponent's, like, whole deck, so. I don't know, really know what they're going for here in this deck, to be honest. But um, it's interesting, I will say. Using Hugin to like protect your branded stuff, that is an interesting strategy for sure. So, But I imagine like some Mirror Jade or something's coming down here. So, yeah, Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with this, that's good. That lets us finally banish this, the uh, Branded Regain, so that's good. It's definitely in our favor right there. Okay, so there goes that. And once again, their battle phase is skipped again, so... Alright. Got another Lubelion in the graveyard. Okay, there's Runic. T oh, this is Smiting Storm, actually. So I imagine we'll just get out Hugin again. Um, but I will activate Birth this time for sure. Get some targets out of the graveyard. And once again, they got to skip, like, another battle phase. Well, I guess they don't have to skip another one. Because, um, yeah, the Runic cards they were playing last time lets them skip this battle phase. Uh, oh, that's actually Gary, so. Okay. Ooh, well, we can chain a uh, birth to this, right? <laughs> and get rid of, yeah, <laughs> we can get rid of Fountain. That's funny. Um, okay, and then um, I don't know if any of these have graveyard effects, but uh, let's just get rid of the bestial cards, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, so they wanted back the fountain, but uh, fountain go bye bye. <laughs> All right, and once again their battle phase is skipped. So yeah, and what a weird duel. Okay, there's uh, Orochi. Hmm. Okay. No, no, no. We're good. So let's activate. And we are here to start. And we'll grab... I guess Rise Heart could be potentially good. And... Hmm. Yeah, and it's not like we have to worry about Nibiru in hand or anything. So, okay. 
There's that. Um, let's start by using birth on... Hmm. I think we have a unicorn in the graveyard, right? Oh, <laughs> okay. They're just going to scoop. Well, that uh, saves us a lot of time. Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I mean, I, I don't know what they were going for there, but uh, interesting. I, I, I've never seen Branded combined with the uh, Runic engine, though. So, yeah, I don't really know what they were ultimately going for there, but that was interesting, though. The most interesting part was using, uh, you know, protecting uh, Branded uh, Lost and Branded uh, Regained with a uh, Hugin. That's that's definitely an interesting combo. I haven't seen that before, but that's a, that's a pretty solid way to cuz I think Hugin protects like your stuff to the end of the turn, right? So that's interesting. Well, anyway, we got another duel and duels cup. Uh and this one, we got it up to 25. So yeah, that was that's definitely like the most that was a pretty interesting take on branded. We've seen a lot of branded decks. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like that. So um, interesting. I think they could have won, though, if they hadn't kept uh, skipping their own battle phase. I mean, they had two max C up their sleeve. So, yeah, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's, uh, next duel. It looks like we need to do one trap, a couple more exceeds, and a normal summon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, not too much on the missions front. All right. Oh, oh, wait, 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 we got some, I think this is like, oh, uh, yeah, I got the dual pass stuff, so. All right. All right, and how many legacy packs we have? Oh, yeah, speaking of legacy packs, so I've been checking out a new series uh, by uh, Simo, <laughs> and uh, man, man, he's, he, he definitely has some good ideas, because uh, he started a new series called uh, Master Duel, ooh, can I even say this word on YouTube? Without getting demonetized? Well, I guess he says it, so it should be fine, right? Well, anyway, it's Master Duel Masochist. <laughs> and, and so the the point of the series is that he can only buy these packs, Master Packs, which are notoriously some of the worst. Like, let's just open one to illustrate my point. But notoriously, these are like some of the worst packs, you know, available, according to most people. So, yeah, because they can it can basically be like any card in the game. So... You can get anything from, like, this alien support <laughs> to Vylons. So, pretty interesting series. Um, and also, like, um, if he gets any, like, he builds a deck from just Master Packs. And that's, like, that's like already, you know, difficulty mode insane. But, um, yeah, he can also, like, if he gets Legacy Packs, these, then he can use cards from this. And uh, I find it interesting because it's like I, you guys have seen it on stream. I actually pulled like two summon limit from here. So yeah, there are some good cards you can get from here, but then again, most of the time you're gonna get some pretty bad cards. Like, so I've been watching a little bit of that series since I've been away, and it's it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. So, uh oh yeah, Curry Ba, that's interesting. But yeah, I, I think in one in one episode he did use this card. I think so. Uh, that's pretty interesting. So, uh, but yeah, even like this card, like see, we got this out of a legacy pack. So uh, been watching. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a it's a new series by uh, Simo. <laughs> uh, I think he calls it a Master Duel Masochist. I think that's what it's called, and it, it's basically like um, Master Duel Challenge Mode is basically what it is. So, but yeah, th for example, this is a pretty good card, you know, out of a legacy pack. Um, but yeah, the the point of the challenge is he can only use like these cards from um, legacy packs and um, master packs. So, pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just really funny. Some of the stuff that happens in there is just, it's just funny. It's and um, I've heard like uh, some people have started their own runs of you know, basically. Uh, <laughs> master duel expert mode basically so or uh, their own you know masochist runs so that's interesting so uh yeah i i recommend it you guys you guys check that out you know if you want to see like <laughs> you want to see some like that's definitely an interesting way to play master duel uh yeah so anyway next duel And 
no, boy, this hand looks bad. But, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> that's what this deck does sometimes. So, you know what? Uh, maybe we'll trick them into thinking we're playing lab, yeah. Let's set four and pass. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I guess Solemn Judgment isn't too bad. I do, I do prefer to see Solemn anytime I have, like, Macrocosmos up, but, um... Yeah, no monsters. That's, uh, I guess that can happen. We are playing 60 cards, so. Well, heck, I've seen it happen when you play 40 cards, man. <laughs> I mean, sometimes Master Duel just likes to troll you. Anyway, what you got? Uh, how would you say this name? A symphony? Oh, I get it. A symphony. Ah, yeah, that's, that's a clever little uh, word salad they got there. <laughs> yeah, as in, you know, like a musical concert. A symphony. Yeah, yeah. All right, I see you. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Firewall Guardian. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, good luck sending that to the graveyard for a link material. Well, I got Dim Fizz up. All right. Ling Karibo. Okay. I see. I see. Yeah, Parallel Exceeds is a good card. Hmm. Let's them get another one from the deck. End of main phase? What? They're not going to go for like a Link 2 or 3? Or like a um, Exceed Summon? That's surprising. <laughs> hey, glad to see you too, Iga. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, good to be back. Yeah, for the most part, like, uh, you know, our our Thanksgiving was pretty good. Uh, the thing is, is just, man, there, there, was a, there was a lot of noise going on around here. And after that, uh, I'll be honest, I was just kind of, uh, I was just kind of checked out, to be quite honest. <laughs> I was just like, eh, you know, I wasn't really doing much. Uh, but hey, I'm, I'm back now, and we aight, man. We'll be, we be good. So, and it definitely feels good to be, you know, streaming, YouTubing, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again. So, we're going to have some fun. I can't believe they didn't go for, a, a, like, Utopia or something, I mean. Link 3, Link 2, nothing, man. They just, <laughs> it's just Parallel Exceeds Turbo, man. What can I say? I like, you can even get Rank 8s off of uh, Parallel Exceeds, right? If I'm not mistaken. So, well, um, that is not what we wanted to draw in this situation. But that's okay. Let's just uh, pass right back. And let's see what they do now. Doot and doot, doot, doot. Hmm. I have a feeling like Dim Fizz is shutting them off. Like, I don't know exactly what combo deck they're playing here, but whenever I saw this, and it's just like Link for a Cyber, special summon it back. Yeah, whenever I saw this, I was just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're, uh, we're cutting them off from whatever combo they want to do, you know. But, you know... <laughs> That may not be enough because they can still get in some decent damage uh, based on what we have right now. So, uh, and they still got plenty of cards in hand too. So, uh, anyway, let's see what you got, a symphony. <laughs> Man, 
Math mech, huh? Oh, okay. This is making a lot more sense now. <laughs> okay, okay, I see. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, uh, math mechs are really good, and they do like to recur themselves, but uh, I think they can only recur themselves from the graveyard, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, uh, hmm, okay. Okay, so that's what we're up against. Okay. Now, this is making sense now, so... And I'm still surprised they didn't go for some kind of Link 4, but honestly, that may be the best decision for them. If they're putting out more damage this way, then, uh, you know, yeah, that may be good. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I guess let's see what we get right here. Hmm. Well, um, hmm. I'm pretty sure they have the ash at this point. So, unfortunately, in order to pl even play this, I'm going to have to MST myself. <laughs> Because I was just kind of bluffing here. You know, you know, most decks, I expect them to, you know, get rid of the back row, you know, somehow. But, um, well, I guess we'll just go for it, everyone. Pot of Desires. I expect to be ashed here, for sure. But, you know. Um, they did not ash. Um, wow. Um, I guess... Hmm... I think our best bet is to hope they BM, honestly. Um, oh, wait, no, we can't max C because we have Dimfiz up, right? Okay, let's just bluff them out and hope they go Ham Taro because we got Nibir. <laughs> I, th I think that's our best bet here. <laughs> Which they may not, to be quite honest, and I wouldn't blame them either because all they've been doing so far is just Normal summon attack, and it works, so... I wouldn't blame him, honestly. Alright, they're going to end the main phase. Yep, I think this is over, so... Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Ling Karibo on macro. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. They did it. They outed macro. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I was wondering if they'd do that, but, uh, you know. Yeah, good move. Good duel. Hmm. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a rough one. I'll be honest. That was, uh, that was interesting. That was interesting, but that was... That was not ideal, to say the least, so... Alright. Nice duel in a symphony. Not bad. Alright. Uh, let's duel again. <clears throat> How long have I been streaming here, too? About an hour? Um... Yeah, we might call it good after this duel. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. What? Um, oh, that's weird. <laughs> like, I was just, uh, uh, I pulled up my page and it asked uh, if I want to turn on shield mode. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, it, uh, for some, I, I don't know. Huh. I don't know if I is still here, but have you ever heard of shield mode? Because that's what it just, 
I don't know. I guess I clicked some kind of weird combinations of buttons or something. To, uh, huh. Yeah, that, that was weird. That was weird. I've never seen that before ever. <laughs> but, uh, okay. That was, that was, uh, that's a new one. I, I haven't seen that before, Twitch. But, uh, okay. Hmm. But apparently whatever shield mode does is it, like, completely disables chat and stuff. So, that's interesting. That, that must be some kind of new feature, because I've never even heard that before. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Let's duel here. Um, okay. This hand... Well, it's interesting. I'll say that. So let's throw down the T-Roar, the Called By, oops, and the MST, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what they're playing. T-Roar pass, heck yeah. Oh man, feels like a Final Countdown deck all over again, heck yeah. <laughs> oh man, I should play a Final Countdown deck sometime. You know, I have a feeling it wouldn't do too well, but I don't know. I don't know. With runic cards, maybe. Maybe. That that would be pretty hilarious, honestly. I think runic has, has enough ju juice to stall, honestly. Enough power to stall. Especially if you throw in stuff like T-Roar. Yeah, maybe. You know, as long as you're getting the draw power off each turn, of course. Yeah. Uh, what are they playing? Vanquish Soul. Ooh. Well, hey, I know my limitations, so... Uh, yeah, GG. Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Vanquish Soul, from what I hear, is a pretty good deck. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to sit through the combos. Sorry. <laughs> you know. All right, let's do a real duel this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, they let us go first. Um, Pimphys. Okay, and um, let's bluff a little bit. Let's set a couple cards face down. Should I set Raigeki? Let's do it. Let's set Raigeki. <laughs> let's really bluff. Okay. <laughs> All right, what you got, Duppy Man? <laughs> Duppy Man. <laughs> I do like this uh, this uh, mate over here, though. That's pretty cool. That looks pretty cool, man. Uh, live twins, huh? Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. You get a live twins card from your deck. That ain't too bad. Lee Lilla. Okay, and there's Evil Twin. Mm. One uh, Lil La monster from your graveyard. Well, you ain't got none of those in your graveyard, so I'm fine with this. Hmm. And this is Life Twin Lil La Treat. Hmm, okay. Yeah, as as, not, as long as nothing's going after Dim Fizz here, I think we're chilling. Hmm. 
Banish this from your graveyard. Draw one card. Well, sounds like these guys want their graveyard. Uh, what you got here? Evil Twin Lilla. Um, ooh, you can target a card, destroy it, huh? Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I think we can uh, just kind of um, say no to that. Yeah. <laughs> now, they, to be fair, they may have went into a Link 4, but I don't want them getting rid of Dimphiz here. Not really. So, uh, yeah, you know, if they can still, you know, go into another one, more power to them. Ooh, from your deck to your hand. Yeah, maybe they can. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we tried to stop them, you know. Battle phase. Okay, that's a good sign. All right. Hmm. All righty. Well, and uh, they got this. What does this do? Sunny Snitch. Right. They got to add, um, each time your opponent normal special summons, you gain 200 and then inflict 200. Hmm. That's interesting. But it's only while you control an evil twin monster. Hmm. Fair enough. And this is an evil twin monster. Okay, let's... Uh, we ain't got much here, but let's just... Um, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm down. Let's just play every card in our hand here. <laughs> there you go. There's the turtle for you. And then I'll set this card. Could be anything. And then I'll play Ragiki, because why not? <laughs> There we go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. Ah, that felt good. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think we'll win this one, but uh, that was fun. That felt pretty good. And that way we get credit for, like, destroying stuff and stuff. Special summoning stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> what you got, Duppy Man? Excuse me. All right. This is the same combo as they did before, right? Yeah, you grab the little one, and then you grab the next one. Yeah, this. He, he sh, sh, kill. Nice. All right. Hmm. Wow, discard one, special summon one from your deck, huh? Ooh, that's definitely a good Ash target. If we had kept Ash in hand, what is this? Unchained Soul of Disaster. Oh, so they are playing some Unchained cards. Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right, and at long last, they get rid of the Dim Fizz. So, yeah, that was definitely holding their deck back. Because as, as you can see, their links and stuff want to reborn stuff from the grave. And then, um, yeah, draw them some cards. So, and plus, like, one revives the other. One evil twin revives... Yeah, because, see, this will revive um, uh, this from the graveyard. And then lets them draw cards and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah sometimes dimensional fissure is just enough to win you the game. <laughs> All right, and there's their link four, Trouble Sunny, huh? All right, not bad, not bad. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess they're just going to go for extra damage here, right? I don't know if they get another card draw from this, but that would be pretty good if they do. Um. Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Well, it's, it's interesting that's not a once per turn. Okay, I can see why people like this deck now. Honestly. That's that's good advantage, you know?
Yeah, and then main phase two, you can just go back into a link four, you know, if you want to. So that's interesting. Uh, yep. Okay, here we go. Trouble Sunny again. All right. You can banish this from your graveyard and send an evil twin all from your hand or deck. Wow. And then send one car on the field to the graveyard. That's interesting removal. Okay. Well, I think in the interest of speeding this up, let's just summon Necroface here. Uh huh. And my plan is to attack into this, actually. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's enough for us to... Okay, it is, it is, okay. <laughs> All right. Nice game there, Duppy Man. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. Okay. Alright. There we go. Alright. Um okay, looks like we got up to this. Indles, not bad. Um and yeah, we did get some other dailies too. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for me here, to be quite honest. Uh, really, all I wanted to do is, yeah, just get some dailies done and stuff. Just kind of come back, you know, basically dip my toe in the pool, you know what I mean? <laughs> get my feet wet, so to speak, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again. Um, yeah, I guess we can raid out. Um, uh, let me see if I go still, if she's online here. Uh, if she is uh, streaming here, let's see. Or, like, we can just raid out to somebody else playing Master Duel. Um, let's see, um, go here, um, mm, mm, doesn't look like she is, so, uh, well, I tell you what, we'll just uh, we'll just end it here, guys. Uh, oh well, actually, oh, uh, Picasso's online. <laughs> so yeah, I tell you what, let's go raid him. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. <laughs>